Welcome to this week's Colourscope. My name is Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So this week we're doing something a little bit different. We're not choosing colour per se. We're going to go with some senses. So what I want you to do is intuit which of these three senses link with you at this moment. So we have sound, sight and smell sound, sight and smell and just see if your intuition can guide you towards which of those senses has a message for you right now. So we're going with sound first. Okay, so we have two sounds. See which one sounds best for you. So this is the first sound and then this is the second sound. All right. Okay, so the first sound is gold. So these are tincture bells. So with this, I usually use um, this in my meditation, in my workshops, to stop people doing what they're doing and to come back and pay attention to me and what I'm doing and what we're doing as a group. So I feel that this gold energy and this sound for you is saying, pay attention. There is something that you need to stop what you're doing and focus on right now and it's almost like you need blinkered focus so that you can see where you're going these golden energies almost look like ears don't they so you may want to hear something there's something that somebody's saying that you need to listen to um, and it could be that your partner for instance is saying something over and over and over again and just need to take notice of that or it could be that your guides are trying to tell you something. So spend a little time meditating to connect with your guides and get that message. With the silver energy, this is a heart. Look at this. It's almost like an anniversary energy. So it's saying bells are playing for an anniversary. There's something to celebrate right now. It's a heart. So it could be you connecting with loved ones on the physical plane or in spirit. Um, or it could be that you've got a birthday coming up, something like that. And it can be connecting to relationships. This is a heart being in tune, being in harmony with others. So um, this is a lovely energy. All right, so let's see what card you get. What we're gonna pick, let's pick one of these cards. I love these cards, the Daily Messenger cards. So we'll see what the top card is. I need my glasses, of course. Oh, look at this. Release and surrender. It's kind of interesting. And it's got violet and yellow. And yellow energy and violet energy are opposite each other on the color wheel. And with that yellow energy, you see how golden that energy is. And the violet is moving out. Violet is a color of transformation. Yellow is a color of cleansing. So it says, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Oh, I love that. Okay, so our next one is sight. All right, now this is a bit of a challenge here. I have colors in here. They're all the chakra colors. So see if you can see them and see if there's anything that you're most attracted to right now out of those colors. And the one you're most attracted to reflects, of course, the chakra that that color relates to. Now there's also, these ones are yellow and then there's two little white ones at the bottom as well. So the white ones relate to all of the chakras together. So I'm just going to pick one of these stones. Okay. So I picked the yellow one. So I don't know if you can see how yellow that is. This is a, a yellow obsidian. And with this, it's very much about cleansing. You see how clear that is? It's about cleansing, getting rid of things that no longer served you. It's also about 
being clear, having clarity. So right now there's something that, it's almost like you need to wipe away the screen that you're seeing things with, because this is about sight, and see clearly where you're going. So it's kind of like being in a car where you haven't been able to see and it's time to wipe that windshield clean. Yellow is about having and being in your power. So you've been blocking that power a little bit and now it's time to blossom and come right out and, um, and play as well. You know, it's about having fun and laughter. So stop being so serious and just have a little bit of fun. All right, then. so let's see what your card is. Take the top card. Oh, two cards wanted to come up. So let me get my glasses. One of them is reward yourself. And the other one is see only love. Isn't that interesting that it's seeing? See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your res resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. That is beautiful. And then the other one is reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in meaningful ways. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a consistently high level. So that's two. So that's interesting that there's a need for balance as well. Um, so perfect, giving and receiving. Okay, so our final uh, one is smell. Now, these are some pomanders and quintessences that I use in my work and they have lots of colors in them. And of course, they're in a little bowl that I use on my timer. Um, so I'm gonna dip in here and see what color comes out. See if you can intuit what the color is. Okay, so let's see what comes out. Oh my goodness, what is this color? That's an amazing blue. That is royal blue, look at that. Look at that color, that's so vibrant. Now this is a permander, it's a royal blue permander. Now when we say royal blue, or a Soma use royal blue instead of indigo, so it's a third eye energy. So with this particular energy, see so if I can get the top off, <laughs> not that you'd be able to smell it, um, but it has, I know it has a very um, musky kind of flavor because it's old. You know when you think of those old places where they have um, incense burning and it's very sacred and it's like goddess worship, church, that kind of thing, a place of worship. And I feel that that's what this is coming up for, that it's about a place of worship for you and smells that connect to that worship. So you might want to burn some incense. You might want to have some flowers around yourself um, or maybe use something like the Royal Blue Pomanda uh, or to um, burn something like Copal, which is white actually. Uh, and I use that for meditation because indigo energy is also connected to of course vision and psychic skills and your dreams and having a vision as well if you notice there's a theme throughout all of these um, senses this week for our color scope with royal blue it's saying that you may have been a little bit lost and you may feel as if you haven't been able to see what which way to go um, and you may have been a little bit down and depressed with this energy it's saying the way out of that is to affirm to have a vision to start focusing on the positive and you will do this through smell so you may want to burn some incense you might also want something like rose oil that makes you nice and happy any kind of smell that really invokes happiness for you have around you right now to help bring and lift your spirits up and wear some royal blue but also the opposite of royal blue is a kind of orange golden energy too so you may want to put that in your energy field as well 
And final thing with this is writing. You might want to write down a plan, maybe of how you want your year to look, how you want the next five years to look, or just how you want your life to look right now. So write that down so you can have a clear vision. All right, so let's see what your card is, shall we? You have be honest with yourself. Now look at that. That is so like that color. Exactly the same, isn't it? I love how that happens. So be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's kind of interesting with that because I feel like there's a Blessed Mary energy in there as well. So you may find that um, feminine energy, and I was saying this already with the goddess worship, you may feel that feminine energy is coming in. There may be some connection with your mother or it may just be that nurturing kind of energy right now. Okay, that's it for our color scope this week. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, a little bit different. Do spread the word. Also take a look at my website, sealedwithlove.com. And we have a winner for the Spirit Silk prize draw that was happening this month, and it's Janet Wood. Congratulations, Janet. And sending you lots of colorishes blessings for your week ahead. <laughs>